Well, shit, it's been so long since I've talked to you that I kind of wanted to start off on something a, a bit upbeat or barring that something that at least wasn't horrifying shit that'll keep you up at night. I mean, I get that this is a segment about misogyny in a show about religion. So I'm pretty much never chiming in with good news, but my stories are at least usually better than this. So the story we're opening with this week, begrudgingly, comes out of Liberty University, where 12 women have filed a federal suit against the Christian College for violating Title IX rules, specifically the rules about protecting students from discrimination on the basis of sex. The plaintiffs claim the university, quote, intentionally created a campus environment where sexual assaults and rapes are foreseeably more likely to occur than they would in the absence of Liberty's policies. They also say victims were threatened for violations of the school's honor code, which apparently had a policy against being sexually assaulted. Now, look, I've read through pretty detailed accounts of the 12 complaints, and the details get pretty gruesome. I'm not going to put you through all that. But what you see when you read them is a fucked up system that repeatedly puts antiquated notions of chastity over real threats to women's safety. Victims of rapes weren't told their rights. They were shamed for drinking alcohol, being out late, or for not being forceful enough in their objections. In one instance, photographs of bruises on her body that one student provided as evidence in a rape accusation were removed from the file for being too explicit. According to the lawsuit, Liberty created a system that enables on-campus rapes and actively suppresses legitimate complaints of sexual assault, thus, intentionally or through craven indifference, protecting rapists from punishment. And it's yet more evidence that every time you think, surely this will be the most fucked up story to come out of Liberty University, the universe is going to prove you wrong in short order. And speaking of being wrong about shit, I wanted to take a quick second to highlight an asshole who stumbled into my crosshairs this week. His name is Jason Graber, and he's a new independent fundamentalist Baptist preacher, despite the words new and independent contradicting the word fundamentalist. Anyway, he was delivering a sermon at the Sure Foundation Baptist Church in Spokane, Washington last week about the evils of divorce. And he assures his audience that divorce is never the right option, no matter how miserable or abused anybody is, unless the husband finds out that his wife isn't a virgin on their wedding night. That's the one and only time that God is okay signing off on divorce. And look, we all know who the victims of this divorce is a grievous sin mantras are. Abuse victims are being told that their physical and mental well-being are less important than a promise to an invisible man. And you know who else knows that? Jason fucking Graber. Now, if you'll forgive me, I had the audacity to do this record wearing full-blown pants instead of bikini bottoms. So I kind of need to run quick before I get fined by an Olympic committee. So without further ado, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. Eli. 